Tonight on New Central 34. Tonight on News Central 34, the State House unveils its plan for higher education funding. We'll tell you what it is. And the statewide MEEP scores have been released. Find out what one school, local school district did tonight on News Central 34. Live from Mount Pleasant Zone, this is New Central 34 at 5. While well, the rough economic climate could take its toll on higher education. Good evening and welcome to New Central 34. I'm Callie O'Rourke. And I'm Wade Shields. While well, Michigan's government is looking for ways to cut costs in this difficult economic climate and higher education is one of the first on the list. The Michigan House of Representatives has approved its version of the higher education budget which would replace the proposed 3% cut to funding with money from the federal stimulus. Jennifer Granholm, governor of Michigan, proposed the cut, said this supports replacing the cut with stimulus money in exchange for tuition relief. Central Michigan University spokesman Steve Smith told New Central 34 the House's proposal is one of the several being considered by state lawmakers. The House proposal will go before the Senate on April 21st. And Central Michigan University already has plans in place in the event of reduced funding. University spokesman Steve Smith told us that given the economic climate, the university would be happy with a budget that can achieve. However, he says CMU is always looking for ways to make cuts. According to Smith, the university has saved $30 million over the last five years and last year spent $9 million less than it received in state funding. Central Michigan University students looking for a more convenient way to send their mail now have a new option. CMU opened a new on-campus post office Wednesday with the intention of making it easier for students and faculty to get mail service without having to leave the university grounds. The post office, located in the Combined Services Building on East Campus Drive next to the CMU Police Department, will be open weekdays from 7 a.m. until 4.30 p.m. A mailroom assistant told New Central 34 that so far there has not been a lot of traffic in the new office, but they have received a great deal of phone calls asking about it. And 150 Central Michigan University students and an array of other volunteers will be participating in a school makeover. CMU Student Michigan Education Association Chapter of the Outreach to Teach program will make over $4,000 in improvements to Farwell Elementary School tomorrow. Some of these changes include the renovations of the teacher's lounge, the painting of theme murals on the restrooms, hallways, and cafeteria, and the creation of a walking track, a new bulletin board, and much more. Although registration for the event is closed, community members, students, and faculty are invited to attend an open house this month to see the changes. Well, the statewide MEEP scores are in, and Mount Pleasant Public School District is proud of its students. New Central 34 spoke with Tammy Holder, the Assistant Superintendent of Curriculum, to find out that Mount Pleasant students have on average scored at or above the state level in all testing areas for the past four years. This year is no exception. Holder reports that the standards for the students continue to be raised and the students have continued to exceed them. The Ingham County Health Department is leading an investigation at Michigan State University following a norovirus outbreak that left an estimated 30 MSU students ill. The students who were mostly concentrated in Shaw Hall began, began vomiting and showing flu-like symptoms late Tuesday night and into Wednesday morning. All of the infected students were hospitalized, but most have been released. Dozens of the students suffered symptoms. According to University Relations spokesman Jason Cody, the Shaw Hall cafeteria is currently closed for cleaning until at least Sunday morning. The norovirus is part of a family of viruses that are spread person to person and cause flu-like symptoms, including nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and stomach cramping. Well, if you are planning on stopping for gas and clear anytime soon, you may be asked to fill out a survey. According to Claire Main Street Manager Lori Shaw, the Support Claire Survey, a survey created to boost Claire's downtown business district, will hopefully help to fulfill a desire to identify the needs of the community from a business perspective. The survey will help downtown businesses offer goods and services that people want and to get ideas on how to improve on what is being offered. So far, Shaw has gotten 82 email responses and almost as many on paper. The survey is scheduled to be done by April 10th. If you would like a copy of the survey, be sure to call 989-386-9190.